going to be very difficult to get that job. It's going to be very difficult to make the money that I would like to make. It's going to be very difficult to overcome the illness that I have. And the minute that you set yourself up for that, you have to ask yourself this question, is it true? Is it true? And the second part of this question is, can you be 100% certain that what you are thinking as an excuse is true? Can you, if you, there's something that you would like to change about yourself, and you say to yourself, it's going to be difficult, is there any possibility at all that exists out there that it might not be difficult? And if the possibility exists that it might not be difficult, then it's not true, is it? The same thing is true with something uh, such as, uh, I can't afford it. Is it true? that whatever it is that you'd like to be able to do in your life, you can't afford it. Can you be 100% certain that you can't afford it? Let me ask the audience, how many of you, by a show of honest hands, have ever had the experience of believing that um, you needed the money to do something, but you didn't have it, and then you came home or something happened, you got a telephone call, and unexpectedly, the financing for what it is that you would like to be able to do was there. It was a check, it was whatever, and it just showed up, a tax refund. See, now, if you look around, we're talking about basically a universal experience. The idea that you can't afford it may or may not be true. So here we go, and here's the logic of this, and this is what I'd really like you to get. If you ask yourself the question, is it true, it's going to be difficult, it's going to take a long time, I can't afford it, three of the excuses that we use, and you say to yourself, it may or may not be true, which is the case, then, then you ask yourself, well, what's the reverse of those three excuses? It's going to be difficult, shifts to what? It's going to be easy. Now, is that true? Or it may or may not be true. In fact, it may be very difficult, or in fact, it may become easy. You don't know. So now you have a choice. You have two thoughts, both of which may or may not be true. One will keep you from getting what it is that you would like. It's going to be difficult. The other one, which is equally may or may not be true, is going to lead you to where you would like to be. Why would you pick the first one? Why would anybody pick the thought that may or may not be true that's going to lead you away from what you would like instead of the thought that it's going to be easy, which may or may not be true, but at least when you think it, you have the option then because you understand that you become what you think about whether you want it or not. So if you're thinking that it's going to be easy, then you will act upon that thought. Like when I sat down to write this book that this program is based upon, one of the first things that I do is I take another book that I've written or that somebody else has written and I take a cover, I always ask my publisher, come up with a cover, this is the title, and they come up with a, a beginning cover. And I wrap that cover around it and I have the book, Excuses Be Gone, looking right at me every time I sit down because I'm thinking from the end rather than about the end. And I believe if I'm looking at it, it's already here. And if it's already here, this is going to be easy, because it's already done. All I have to do is do whatever it takes to complete that. On the other hand, if I say, this is going to be very difficult, the first thing I will do if I know that it's going to be difficult is probably postpone it <laughs> and say to myself, why should I do difficult things? I can just go and lie down. <laughs> That's easy. Now you can do this with every single one of these 18 excuses that I'm talking about here in this program. You can do the very same thing. Can you be 100% certain that it's true? Um, no, I can't be 100% certain that it's true. Okay, what's the reverse of that thought? Well, it's, uh, it's going to be easy. It's not going to take a long time. Is that true? No. <laughs> can you be 100% certain that it's not true? 
No, I can't be 100% certain. So why have you all of these years been opting for the, it's going to take a long time, it's going to be difficult, I can't do this, I'm too old, it's too risky. Uh, all, they, all of them, everything that you see out there, it's not my nature, I'm not strong enough. And as you begin to examine these, and I learned a lot of this from my teacher and, and a woman that I adore, I think is one of the great powerful teachers on our planet, a very close personal friend, her name is Byron Katie. Um, and Katie has something called the work, and I have taken a few of the things that she taught me and put it into this excuses be gone paradigm. She, to me, is a, a woman who walks her talk every moment of her life. She's nothing but pure love. So this idea of looking at something that may or may not be true, recognizing that if I reverse it and allow myself to think that thought, that at least the one that says it's going to take me where I would like to go is the one that I want to hang on to, okay?